Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. As you can see, I pulled out my fall wardrobe and while I was doing that, I didn't get only out my clothes and my shoes. I also decided to pull out some bags, which I'm planning to wear the next month or one and a half months during the fall season. And I thought that would be a good idea to share that with you guys. In case you are interested, stay tuned. <music> I wore canvas bags. I really, really, really am looking forward to wear my leather bags again. I mean, one does not exclude the other, but um, for some reason, I'm feeling leather right now. The leaves are falling. It's getting fresh. It's getting colder. So I pulled out most of my, some of my leather bags, which I'm planning to wear now for a few weeks. And I'm sharing that with you guys now. And leave me in the comments what you are planning to wear in the fall. Leather, canvas, big bags, small bags. Which brands you are wearing now. Did you pull out some bags um, to change your bag wardrobe? Um, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to read your comments. And love to read your comments. So let me get started now. And um, on most of my bags, I have reviews on this channel already. So I will try to link, link them in the description box for you guys. So you can check them out if you're particularly interested in a bag. If you don't see it on my channel, then um, please Instagram me if you have more questions. Or like I said, leave me a comment. So we are starting now. They are all Dooney and Coach bags. So we are starting with one of my favorite bags from Dooney and Burke, the satchel. And I store my bags with the tags on most of the time because uh, so that I know which bag I'm pulling out. And um, this is the medium size satchel and fern. And this was really hard to get for a long time when I purchased it. But now I saw it on sale on the Dooney and Berg website. So um, just a quick tip if you are interested in this, this is just now on sale in this size and I think in the small size on the Dooney and Berg website. So I have it on the long strap. And I will show you also some mod shots on each of the bags. So this is the firm section. I'm wearing just a sweater dress and some Tommy Hilfiger flat boots. They're not completely flat. I think they have one and a half inch heel, heel more. I cannot do anyway. So this is the firm section and I will give you a few better mod shots. I will either insert them here somewhere or put all the mod shots at the end, which I think I will do because today is very dark and gloomy and I'm not having very good lightning here, so you can see. So I will definitely insert some mod shots towards the end, but I'll show you quickly right now while I'm talking about the bags also, how they look on me. This is the Dooney and Berg medium satchel and fern. So, Next up, one of my favorite fall bags is the Dooney and Burke Buckley Satchel. Bucket bag, it's not really a satchel, it's more a bucket bag. I have tons of reviews of this bag in black and brown. For fall, I pulled out the brown one for now. The Dooney and Burke Buckley. I'm trying not to make this video too long. Then next up, I finish off with the Dooney's first. These were both Florentine leather and this one is also Florentine leather. This is the Dooney and Box small satchel in the color Bordeaux. I purchased it last year. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. And as a little comparison, which I also have on my channel and will link below, this is medium size, this is small size, so um, 
I wear the small size mostly as a shoulder bag, like so. Beautiful color and this came pretty pebbled. This is a very pebbled bag, but I didn't mind because I love the color saturation of this bag. Then next is the last Dooney and Bird, which I picked out for my fall wardrobe. This is a pebble grain satchel, which means you can wear this rain or shine. The Florentine, I'm a little careful in the rain. The color is called tangerine. And I love this for the pumpkin time, Halloween time, fall time, all the time. Tangerine, pebble grain, small satchel by Dooney and Burke. And next, uh, there are coach bags coming now. And I pulled out three coach bags, which I'm planning to wear the next few months. One is my beautiful quilted coach rogue in Napa leather with the rivets. One of my favorite, favorite bags by Coach. I own a lot of the rogues and I love them dearly. It's one of my favorite bags. That's the rogue in the size 30 by Coach. Beautiful bag. And next up is another rogue, which is, I will link, I will, like I said, I will link the videos. This bag came in a very, very bad shape to me from Coach. Very, very bad shape. I had to put a lot of work into this bag to make it work. At that time, it was not available anywhere anymore. Later, I saw it was available but I didn't bother to return it and order another one because I, this bag grew on me because I put so much effort into this bag. And it's the coat rogue in the color chalk. And I love to wear these kind of colors in um, the winter and fall time as well, especially this because it has the combination with the ox blood here, it's beautiful. And my last bag I pulled out for the next few weeks is the Tabby Hobo bag. Again, in the color, this color is called Deep Red. This is one of my favorite bags. It holds a lot, very lightweight, very, very lightweight and just gorgeous in my opinion and you have the shoulder strap the short shoulder strap and then you also have a cross body strap here i have a review i think on the black one check it out if you're interested they sometimes still come up on the outlet website or on macy's this color was pretty fast sold out So very, very comfortable bag and beautiful bag. And um, yes, let me know what you think of this kind of video where I show you uh, what bags I'm planning to wear. Because if you like this kind of video, I can make one for winter time again. And um, yeah, just let me know. And I'm giving you some mod shots now from a little bit better lightened area. See you there.